the first thing about identifying how we're going to unplug and unlock your business using systems and improving efficiency is to first identify what you want. If you know what you want, then you can know what to work towards and what's not working and what's not getting you there. Does that make sense? So most business owners that we sit with want profit. It's as simple as that. So let me talk to you about the theory of constraints. A very clever man called Mr. Goldratt wrote this very thick book called The Goal. And in The Goal, he brings to light that in every system, there is a constraint. There are probably more constraints, but there are, there's one big primary constraint that is limiting the achievement of your goal within that system. Every single system has one constraint, which is causing a bottleneck. So you've got this massive throughput coming through, but there's something that's constraining your ability to produce an outcome or to handle that throughput. Your constraint could be the staff's attitude. Your constraint could be yourself. Maybe you're the one holding it. Maybe you're the bottleneck. Your constraint could be outdated policies and procedures. Your constraint could be that you have no policies and procedures and everyone just does what the heck they want. Every single system within your business has one constraint, at least one constraint. But here's the good news. You only have to focus on one at a time. So it's not this overwhelming project. Okay, so there's bottlenecks. Now let me explain this a little bit better. This could be your business. And he is the bottleneck in this system. Now this guy could be, okay, in this scenario, it's a human being. It could be a machine that's old, or it could be vehicles that are slow, I don't know. It could be uh, a new person who doesn't know how to do things well. It could be an old employee who's just not interested in changing and working fast. Whatever your constraint is, it could be someone who's working too hard, he's got too much on his plate, and so he has to, he's not coping with anything, but the work is piling up and there's a bottleneck. That's a problem. Because that beautiful graph with that throughput coming through, that, that money that's coming in, is getting jammed up here, and you're not producing real profit, which is what you want. These guys here, can you see them? Well, they're just costing you money. And if you don't have visibility into what is happening in the life cycle of a client or into a project, you don't know that you are actually probably underquoting and not covering your cost properly because this, this might be costing you more than what you're charging. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The weakest link. You all know the analogy of the weakest link. Focusing on, on your strongest link is not going to get you anywhere. You might have a star employee or star something or other and you're like, yeah, more, more, more. But the, you will fail at your weakest link. You will fail at your weakest link. If the goal of the month is that we want to do a million turnover, that million rand turnover has to pass through this, into this chain. Can it handle the million rand turnover? Can it handle that? Has it got capacity to handle that? And it is set by the staff. This element here in your chain is where you will make or break. Okay, so I should make sure it's on the right slide. Okay, so what this means is that you're going to have to take some time. You are, it isn't, it isn't a quick exercise. You're going to have to take some time and sit with your, your function owners or your, your SMEs, your subject matter experts in the company who are, it could be your production manager, it could be you and yourself, <laughs> you're a solopreneur, um, and you're going to have to sit and analyze every function and system within your business. This is a long process. But it is an investment that is worth your while. It, it, it can be a really long exercise. You can actually, actually get theory of constraints consultants who come to your business and they'll say, let's talk about your constraints, let's talk about your systems, that kind of thing. But I don't think you have to be there just yet. You can pro probably try and do this on your own. Any ERP system worth its salt will be able to give you some insight into what your business functionality is looking like and how your, your efficiency is. You just need to understand what the data that it's giving you. Okay. Let me show you the steps that you will need to eliminate a constraint. So the first thing you'd have to do was to work out your systems. Okay? The second thing you'd have to do is identify the constraint. 
What is it that's limiting it? So there's your little bottleneck. Lots of stuff in the pipe, and only a few little things coming out. That's your bottleneck. I'm not great at drawing. Anyway, so there, there, number two. Then you have to look at ways to exploit or maximize your constraints. So ideas, um, you, you start brainstorming ways, and you do that not on your own. You do that with the people who are in your business, because they know your business, and they understand it. They probably have way more insight into some of the things that are going on in your business than you might do, because you're thinking perhaps more high level, and they're the ones in the doing the nitty gritty. They might be able to say, well, there's three other ways that we can use this machine that will save us time and money, that kind of thing. And the fourth thing you do is you test it. You, you apply this. You apply the ideas to eliminate this constraint. Basically, there are two outcomes. One is it worked, and one is it didn't. If it didn't work, and you find, oh, the way we're actually trying to remove this constraint is actually applying another constraint into this system, this isn't working, then you rinse and repeat from here, and you say, all right, what is the constraint that's good ideas on how, on how to eliminate this, how to improve this? If it does work, then what you do is you go back and you identify the next constraint. So you might have several constraints. This one was the most important. It's now being removed, and you focus on the next one, one at a time. And because that, I've literally summarized that entire book in this. Because it is so manageable to eliminate one constraint per system. Goldblatt says that it takes about three months and you will see immediate improvement. You will be able to measure after three months, this is working. Wow, this is great. Our throughput is improving. And that bottleneck has been removed. Okay. So let me talk to you about ERP system. That's what I spoke to you about earlier. It basically combines everything, accounting, time tracking, Stock, business intelligence, sales, engineering, planning, purchase, inventory, blah, blah. Everything that you do in your business into one very clever system. ERP or BAS business operating system, we know what that is. One click easy. Let me just tell you a little bit more about why it's awesome. It's because it is enterprise level software, homegrown. But it's intentional design to make it easy for you to use. We're not restricting you. We don't, we don't want the software to become a constraint in your business, right? Um, it's flexible and adapted to unblocked bottlenecks. It improves efficiency and accuracy. It's affordable. If you need one license, that's fine. If you need 100, that's fine. Um, so you get big company ERP functionality at some prices. It's cloud hosting, so you can remote get it from anywhere. And local prices, local support, and local training. So you don't have to wait for them to wake up in America to get support. And you aren't paying dollars or pounds or euro to get the software and the support and the training that you want. You just pick up the phone and tell you where to Let's talk. Okay, so this is how it looks. If you, if you log into the dashboard, you'll see literally your entire business on one screen. Uh, this is your menu. So there's your CRM functionality, which is your like your leads and your uh, how many times have you emailed someone with your customer contacts. And um, then your customers themselves. So you've got your um, customer lists, um, your customer contacts. So it would be like your by, by company name by contacts database, um, you've got your suppliers, if you manage your suppliers in one go, your items or your products that you sell, your production, so what happens behind the scenes to get your items, and your accounting. And also, off the screen, is reporting. This is how it looks inside. So if you want to get full clarity, this is the clarity that you'll have into your business. This is literally a, a production dashboard. Board. So I can see in this cycle here, this guy's got way too much on his plate, and this guy's got nothing. And this guy here is sitting and twiddling his thumbs, and we're not going to meet together. I need to allocate resources more efficiently. Do you think that's hard to do? Was that hard to see where your bottlenecks are? Mm -hmm. Do I need to hire a consultant to come and show me in my business where my bottlenecks are? No, you've got full clarity. You've got full clarity like this, immediately. And I can access this from the beach. I can access this from my child at school today. I can access this from my home office, from anywhere, because it's remote. Okay, and then control, baby, control. This is a 12-year view, actually, of one business that we've got. Of their, um, of their growth, of their financials. Full clarity. So if you do control. want to sell your business one day, you just take this to me. your investor meeting. There you go. <laughs> if you're looking to get finance, 
if you're wondering if my business is growing, I've got to sure I understand what my expenses are, what my income is, what my profit is. Literally, a click of a button. A click of a button, and these reports are built in. Um, and we can also customize reports for you. Okay, so, plus you can work from anywhere. Mm, live the life. Okay, and then like I said, the last thing which I love about this company is that we are literally three steps ahead of everybody else and that we just get it. You can't bring in software without a human being. And that's where business operating systems comes into play, where we sit with you and we help you. We're not just going to throw you in the deep end and say, hey,